and welcome back. Uh, all of us of freedom are definitely listening and watching us all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Onido, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me in the studio. Mazi Oge Friday, I welcome you once again. Thank you very much. Can I say hello to the people? Dear fans all over the world, lovers of freedom, I want to say may Jukwa Bama bless you, and thank you for joining us this morning. All right, and also I have Mazevis on the way who is also standing by doing the work of educating and enlightening our people on all the intricate aspects of uh, what we are facing and uh, all the issues we have on ground. Mazevis, can you say hello to the people? Yes, um, hello dear friends. Stick with us and um, we will bring the best in you. We will bring out the best in you so that you will become who you want to be. Thank you. All right, Mazev is they don't go anywhere. I want to read out this very uh, issue that we have here so that we can start analyzing from there. The federal government okay. of uh, Nigeria says it will soon commence the reconstruction of a uh, grazing reserve across the country. How do you the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development said this in Abuja when participants of the Executive Intelligent Management Course 12 EIMC 12 and the Initiative for Security Studies? Osma Dan Buhari visited him. A statement made by Nakori Mohammed, the Director of uh, Information at the Ministry, on Friday quoted Obe as saying that the reconstruction of the grazing reserves had become necessary due to farmers' headers' conflicts. The Minister said the construction was also crucial for the federal government to reduce the high rate of unemployment. And, uh, also to reduce other social vices that is going on in the country. The grazing reserves will help in resolving these problems. He called on individuals who have the interest and ability to build grazing reserves to do so, adding that the government would support such individual. Uh, Mr. Obe called on members of the institute to focus toward addressing the security challenges facing the West African region and uh, Africa in general. The director of uh, the institute, S.A.S. Adelike, represented by the deputy director of studies, Dr. A.M. Wally, said the purpose of uh, the visit was to commence the country's achievement in the agricultural st sector. Mr. Adelico also applauded the, mini uh, the ministry for its effort toward curtailing the agro-terrorism where people are holding farm inputs. So, Mazievis, from this very uh, statement that was made below, what would you make of it? Yes, my brother, I will use a phrase and let will turn back to it. Let you go, Kanaka, Kanaka. Which means the Nigeria has been sheared. All the names you have mentioned there, how many Biafras were there? None. The names you mentioned are Yorubas and the Hausas. And these are the people that own the Nigeria. They benefit from it. They develop where they want to develop. They shift the capital where they want to shift. They share it to themselves. They share the presidency. They share the governorship. They share the security wise. They share money. They share everything. Just like what um um Alaji Kunle or whatever thing says that the um, the, the the special status should be, will be given to Yoruba land and um, they will generate the revenues and share it to themselves. So this grazing bill of a thing, my brother. It is a mandatory because if you look at it right now, nobody will speak. They nobody will in our land because if you if they could be anyone that they cannot come out to stand on our behalf, they could have started from the things that happens in a, in a, in a recently in um trade fair, but none of them all of them were moved. They, they kept moved, so that is to tell you that they has been caged. It has been a kind of uh, 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 imprisoned from uh, kind of uh, what do you call it uh, 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 freedom of speech. Whatever thing they said now will be used against, and that is what they signed before this man, this Jubril, came into what into the second panel. So whatever thing they want to do, it is their land. It's the only thing that less right now is the indigenous people. When you see them coming to your land by the government, you have to react because they cannot take your land. Government does not own any land. Land is being owned by the indigenous people. So if they come to your land to a kind of impose uh, 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 what they call it, uh, uh, um, um, or whatever thing, they just allow them when they go home. He will not You look for Taba and that is the way we are. All the 
they will eat it or put it all of them will just die when they try two or three or four times and they, get, uh, they, they, they lose everything they will pack by force so if you are expecting the governors to speak we will use the, 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 the happening event right now that needed their, their uh, kind of uh, intercessions how many of them have stood up to condemn it or speak the word if not the man for Kogi State so if you come in by um, cattle ranching and railing and uh, whatever is a done deal because when you watch somebody OT that was one of his uh, 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 kind of manifesto towards his letter that this is what he would do they have two agenda number one is to bring a POB down number two is to make sure that every who can clan that cow is working like human being if your children are going out in the street in the morning maybe they want to go to school them and cow will be dragging men road you know if the paraventure the cow kills the human being they will, they will get you arrested or you if as as you kill the cow they'll get you arrested so my brother we are we don't have a voice we are in a total mess and that is what our leader said so if you are talking about cattle railing and renting and the kind of uh, bringing us it's a done deal because that thing has been signed so why they are saying it is for the same sake it's just for you to be aware but but you yourself cannot stop them because that is their plan and that is the aim of win which they are using to do what to islamize the remaining their friends so thank you all right thank you very much our brother Mazi Evi Samudio, for that wonderful contribution of course uh, if you look at it holistically um, you will see that uh, uh, there is a lot that is left to be desired um, but when you look at the second, I mean the third paragraph of that very, you know, uh, press release, you will understand that the minister said that the reconstruction was also crucial for the federal government to reduce the high rate of unemployment in the country. So my question is, how true could this be, and how can re uh, building of a uh, raising reserve reduce unemployment rate? As in, how my uh, my my colleague, uh, please go let ahead. me just come in now. Okay. Let me come in. You will, uh, you will ask the minister. Those very cattle railing, <coughs> who owns them? Do they generate revenue to Nigeria? That is a private business. But now, the federal government is sponsoring the private business to balance their stealing and the questions of their subjugations. Cattle railing is it constitutional? Then you now tell me they want to bring people back. They remove you from the educational sector. They will remove you from your your original sense, which means now the Igbo guys now will leave their businesses, their their educations, and start rolling cow. That is what he's about to tell you. Which means you start behaving like one of the alamajuris. They want alamajuri to be a what a kind of uh, nationwide issue, you know, because. For them to say that it will stop the unemployment, my brother, what, what happens to manufacturing sectors? What happens to building factories? What happens to a kind of helping indigenous contractors? What happens to other sectors? In, in, okay, now, for, a, for instance, um, IPM, that is uh, Innocent Vehicle Motors or whatever, why don't the federal government? push in money into that very place and help expand it and employ masses to that. They can't do that because that was owned by an evil man. And so a lot of them instead they are looking forward to close it so that they'll bring cattle real in so everybody will not become alimentary. Yeah. But that's simply what the, 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 the information minister simply means. You know, like me and you now we leave studio. In the morning before we come to the studio we go to the bush. And real cow. When we cow finish, maybe two, three, four, five hours, come back to the studio. In the afternoon, we we'll go back again. When they call Allah, but we rush there and do what I do, the praying. Use the urine to wash your face. My brother, hey, this is not a joke, but it's becoming real. It's becoming, it's becoming a kind of a real life. Many people are still dreaming, but this thing is becoming real. In Yoruba land, how many land have they been able to give out? Have you ever seen? hear them saying anything concerning cattle railing is only in their land because they need that land they need it by all means they want us to be submissive to them but for me i'd rather die than i will not die rather how some people will die i will not even worship them i will not i can never do that i can't thank you 
All right, thank you very much, our brother Mazi Elvis Sandio, for that wonderful submission. Of course, I will come back to you later. All right, Mazi, okay, Friday. Um, I welcome you once again. Thank you very much. All right, uh, based on the submission of uh, our brother uh, Elvis Sandio, would you totally agree with him? Yes, uh, this is official uh, introduction of jihad. They must not come online or jihad into our land and it is going to be shameful that our people partake in this the federal government of Nigeria zoo, they have the mandate to Islamize Nigeria as a whole this plan has been going on for a very long time now for many years this has been going on. All to do what? To Islamize the entire zoo called Nigeria. And they must come in a way that some people will say they are offering them a job. Then who and who are they going to employ with this project? The House of Fulanis. The Jihad. The Fulani Hesmen. And as they are coming, with their cows. They are also coming with their guns and bullets. If you try to stop them, they will wage war against you. So, so are, you, are, are you trying to insinuate that uh, this uh, grazing reserve uh, kind of a bill is going to be enforced on the people? Is it not going to be out of their own volition and uh, total acceptance? Is it going to be enforced on the people? In Nigeria, they say that all land belongs to government. So, Whatever thing that they are doing, when they have the backup of the federal government, the state governments have no option. The local governments have no option. All they do is just to dance to the tune of the federal government. Else, they will be threatened that all their location will be seized. But so, it is still in their constitution that uh, people have a right and sovereignty over their land. It is there in their constitution. But so you see the, the rates at which the herdsmen move around everywhere in the whole zoo called Nigeria today. You find it that it is not true. This is a country where law doesn't work. They make laws that they don't obey. So we are trying to say that with this project, it is a means of welcoming jihad. Believe it or not. But there are so many ways to kill a rat. Just like uh, Mazi Elvis submitted. That there are so many things you will do. You will even drive them out of your land. Exactly what we've been trying to tell our people all this while. Do not welcome them. Do not welcome them because they don't mean well for you. Telling you that they will employ. Okay, you as a Biafran. If you are asked to go to the bush and begin to rear cow. You can do it. But there are people who know how to do this. They sleep with the animal under rain and sun. But you, as a Biafran, you can't do it because that is not part of you. There is something that they want to take away from us and enforce something to us. They must come in a way that you will be confused if you don't know the tactics they are using. They are just trying to bring in jihad. And we are calling on everybody to wake up. Because if you don't wake up, it will be too late. There is only one savior you have. IPOB is your savior. That is why our leader will continue to say that only IPOB will save you. We understand this before now, that they are going to come. And they are everywhere. All they needed is just a signatory, official signatory that will endorse it and give them go-ahead orders. Right. If you watch online, you see what is happening. They are ready to come. They are ready. All they need is this approval, and you will see them everywhere with guns and bullets patrol patrolling. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Mazi. Uh, okay, Friday for that very wonderful submission. Of course, all viewers all around the world, all friends and lovers of freedom, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Mazi Victor Onyedanda. I have Mazi Okay Friday, who is here with me, and also Mazi Elvis is also standing by, doing the work of educating and enlightening our people on the intricate aspect of all the topics and the discussion we are bringing up. Right now, we are going on a short break. When we come back, we'll open up the phone lines for you to call in to make your contribution and to also 
ask your question if you have any stay tuned and don't go anywhere this is the front television audio jungle audio jungle Hello and welcome back once again, friends and well wishers all of us of freedom, all dear friends listening and watching us all over the world. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. Of course, my name is Mazi Victor Onyido, and uh, I have Mazi Oge Friday with me, who is here in the studio to do the work of uh, analyzing and educating our people. And also, I have uh, Mazi Elvis on the way, who have been doing a very wonderful job of uh, enlightening our people and telling our people all the intricacies and uh, all the happenings. And they're making us to know the way forward from these very points. All right, uh, our lines are open for you to make your calls and to also ask your question to uh, be enlightened. If there is anything you have been, you are not clarified about that you need clarification, this is the time for you to call in to and uh, to us and make your contribution. We'll be ready to pick your call at this moment. Let me call out the lines for you to call. This is our WhatsApp line. Our uh, WhatsApp line is uh, plus 234-090-566-08583. I call it once again, Z plus 234-090-566-0853. And our phone line is plus 234 0702 I call it again, plus 234 2035306. Also, you can call us on Skype at Sunrise BTV or Facebook Messenger at Sunrise BTV. All right, uh, Mazi, okay, Friday. I come back once again to you. Um, from the last submission we just made concerning the uh, grazing reserve bill. Um, uh, do you think uh, uh, people can do anything about it this time around, either in a way of protest to reject it totally? Sure. Our people can do a lot of things to stop this. Uh, like, I always say, there are so many ways to kill a rat. We've been protesting all this while that we don't need them again. They will it fully well that they don't need us. We've been trying to make sure that the one Nigeria will work for the past 70 years, even before the war, in 1967 to 1970, but it proved abortive. This time around, they want to enforce jihad to us. And the only thing that we, the indigenous people, would do is to stand up and say no to this spiritually and physically we must not give any support to this me saying spiritually is not all about praying and fasting because yeah. there are so many people who are relying on praying and fasting and they are got killed this is not what you just stop by praying and fasting even the bible that we read say that from the days of john the baptist the kingdom of God suffered violent, and the sons of violence takes it by force. Even so in are you insinuating that the people should go violent this time around? I, I'm not saying that people should go violence. Okay. We've been on a peaceful agitation for a very long time. But still, there are so many ways to kill a rat. Let us resist them. By what about Colonel Wasa? Colonel Wasa, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling from. Yes, my brother. My name is Mr. Chukwode. All right. I'm from welcome. Switzerland. You are welcome to the program. Please I'm from... Me. Yeah, I'm from Oka province, Biafran land. Um, Victor. God bless you and my brother. I take Friday. 
If you allow them to cut your right leg off, they'll ask for the left leg. If you give them your left leg, they'll come for your right hand. They will cut it, cut it, until either you sorry and tie that Quran or they kill you. And this is what I said. So, and, and this thing is going on, our people are still inside the market carrying cartons. They are not listening. They, are, they don't want to come out now, there is day to pursue the good that is that. I don't know if when they are in the night, they will begin to search for the black good, black good. How can they do this? So this is this let me not to sleep. So you that is asking about the cattle raj, it is signed by your religious leader, by Cardinal Arinze, by so called your governors and senators and the and the and the House of Representatives have signed they have stamped it. So we are now like uh, um, dead people, slave people to have such money. To jihadis, your religion that your religion cannot even say anything. They have that already. As if, no, nobody can say what's in them. So what I know uh, you have a lot of pain in your hands, to, please. Please, to get with us, let them come and join IPOB to, to fight for our life, for our them, for the forum of our children and our grand grandchildren. Now that is the day, that, that is the time. This is what I want to contribute this morning, please. Thank I'm you very much, Marzi. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, that is a very passionate yes, one. Uh, 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 very uh, happy. Uh, uh, All right, uh, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone, good morning. Uh, uh, call on the phone, good morning. Are you not listening at all? He's not listening. Please, once you call us, make sure you turn on the volume of your listening device and uh, make sure you're listening to us. All right, keep the calls coming. And this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Onyido, and I have Mazi Oge Friday with me here in the studio, and uh, also Mazi Evis on the way is also doing a great job standing by to educate our people and to also enlighten us on what is on ground and what is happening based on the issues we have here all right keep the calls coming on our lines are open for you to call in to make a contribution we we'll have a call on the phone call on the phone good morning your line is breaking please can you adjust yourself a little bit so that i can hear you clearly Oh, we seem to have lost him. Please try and do call us back. We would like you. We would like to hear from you. Please keep the calls coming in. All right, we have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Okay, we seem to have lost that one. All right, uh, Mazi Oge Friday from the submission of uh, our last caller who called all the way from. Uh, uh, um, Russia, Switzerland. Switzerland, I mean Switzerland. So you know, Mazichukode. Mazichukode. You know, he has been a very regular caller, but yes. this one he called out of a passion that he could not sleep because of uh, the disappointment uh, he rather received from somebody who is supposed to speak on our behalf, telling us to surrender to the House of Fulani, the jihadis. It's either we should surrender to them or we should submit to ourselves to be killed. As in, what would you make of that? Uh, it is quite unfortunate that uh, those who we think they are to represent us are those who are backing those that are unleashing mayhem to us. We do not have representatives. It is high time our people come to know of this. Apart from IPOB, we don't have anybody that is representing us, both in the political realm or spiritually. Those that are there as the spiritual leaders, the church heads, it is true there are few of them who are good and genuine, but majority of them are after their belly, they are after their pocket. So they dance around with the house of and their enemies. They give them one naira, two naira, they will come out and say all kinds of things. So it is high time that our people need to know that we need to take the responsibility of what? Defending ourselves. 
but let us follow the order of IPOB. All right, we'll have a call on Skype. Call on Skype, good morning. Hello, call on Skype, good morning. Hello, call on Skype, can you hear me? Good morning. Seems it's no longer there. Please go ahead. So, it is high time that our people understand that the responsibilities to defend our land, the mandate to defend ourselves and our land is upon us. IPOB leadership is working assiduously to making sure that our land is well protected against these invaders, against these jihadists who are coming to Islamize all of us, but they have failed. So what we need to do is to work with IPOB. We know that House of Fulanese, they do not understand the language of peace. And that is why people are busy praying in the church, singing, and they will go there and kill all of them. So we know of this. And that was why our leader once said that we know how to follow these people. But when the time comes, the world will know how serious we are. So I still submit and I keep repeating that only IPOB will save you. And that is why we urge you to go and join the rest or the nearest IPOB family where you are. You have now found out that political party cannot save you because after the election you will not see them again. They will all run away to Abuja and the government house. If you go back to their houses again, you will turn to an enemy. They will, they will not even open the gate for you. Then if you go to church, the church will ask you if they come, submit yourself to them. They will rather give you praying and fasting, seven days, 21 days. By the time you are praying, you will even lose the strength to stand the enemies. But here we are going to teach you how you are going to resist them. Because we know how they, we know what they accept. We know what is to use and deal with them. But they, at the appropriate time, like our leader say, the world will know how serious we are. But now we are still in peaceful agitation. And you know how far we have gone with it. So when we turn violence or when we decide to pick up arms to defend our land and to defend, to defend ourselves, the world will know how serious we are. But for now, they still think that what we are doing is more or less childlike play. But I want you to cast away your mind because you are not hearing the sound of AK-47 now or you are not hearing the sound of guns and weapons. It's not because we are not serious. We know what we are doing. We want to destroy Nigeria so that in the end, nobody will come to their rescue. And that is exactly what we are doing. All right, we'll have a call on messenger. Call on messenger, good morning. Good morning, my name is Pierre. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling us from. Thank you, my name is Ike I'm calling from Malaga and from Suka province. Okay, please go ahead. I want to thank you guys in the studio there for the good work you are doing for the Afro. And I want thank to you. thank all our probably the small officer this is especially in the Kano and the Chemo 4. I say may God bless you all. Yes, I want to contribute in, uh, in what you read, the agenda of uh, Alpha Flani, by bringing grass deal in our land. I know they have been planning this since last three years ago. That is their mission. They want to Islamize us by force. And they have succeeded by initiate our brothers into this Muslim uh, 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 religion culture. I call, I call it initiate because in actual sense our forefathers are not Muslim. But today we have a Jesus people who are Muslim who are ready to die to defend this Muslim jihadist. We have to be very very careful and prepare for this battle that is about to come. You know, when Nambi Kano said this, some people think he's joking. But the truth is, this is not joking. We are all seeing it. These people are coming. They are coming. We have to be very, very vigilant and prepare for them. The gas bill is not going to work. Because this is not something we want in our, our, our Biasa land. This is not industry. It will, it will not give us any job rather than killing us and taking over our land. So by the grace of God, we have to, God, we are going to give us wisdom to get this out of the because this is the only way. When we have a country which we call our own, then we can be able to plan more better. 
for our future children. So thank you, my brothers. May God bless you all. I'm blessed with you. Thank you very much. God bless, bless wherever you are. Thank you. Please keep the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And of course, our lines are open for you to call in to make your contribution. And if you have questions regarding the topic we have on ground, please feel free and do so. And uh, our analysts are going to also uh, give you a satisfactory answer that you needed. Any clarification that you would need, we are here to clear all those doubts and to give you the right uh, channel to understand what we are doing. I call the one the lines once again. Our WhatsApp line are plus two three four zero nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three. I call it again plus two three four zero nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three. And the full line is plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six. I call it again plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five five three seven zero six. Also you can call us on Skype at Sunrise B T V or Facebook Messenger at Sunrise B T V. Please keep the calls coming in. We need to take your calls. Alright. Um we'll have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp, good morning. Yeah, good morning, uh good morning, though. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine and you? Yeah, my name is Okechuku. I'm calling from the Italy. Okay, please go ahead. Do you see, I was arguing with somebody yesterday. I told somebody that uh, I was showing somebody, a pastor. He said he said, try to preach to me. I should come to in church, this and that. He said, Why am I going to come to church? I told him that I cannot come to church. That is the only Mugu go to church. Mugu go to church. He said, Why? I said, Okay. Now, how can you expect me to go to church whenever I'm here, you know, suffering? After my suffering, now then you, you will use your own initiative, use your own brain to collect whatever that I'm suffering for. Tell me to go and pray. Your own, uh, your own miracle is coming instantly. Why not? Why am I my own? And you ask me to go and pray and fasten. But today you have received your own instant miracle. But my own, I will wait for God to bless me. So after I don't want to wait, I told him that, see, brother, a hungry man doesn't listen to preaching. No person that is hungry that listens to the word of God, unless you know that you are feeling okay. After it and done, you submitted. I say now, look, because because you are just a, you are just a, you have not made your millions. That's why you are still going to street to street and preach to the word of God and talking to people to convert to to come to church. I say how I say I may experience. There is no church I have never attended in when I was in Nigeria. If you want to come to Europe, I want to go to church. To see that I don't know God is going to use to bless me. I talked to them, talked to them, talked to them. They told me that, uh, well, I said, please, they should help me. Do you know what they told me? They said I should go back to my village meeting to get assistance. To get uh, assistance. You know, you know, you know, you know, yeah. Okay, so now, uh, the, the, uh, the topic you have on ground this morning is concerning um, grazing beer. Grazing bill is not uh, to hold their friends. It's so that uh, they want to use it as a barrack. Barrack, they want to use that grazing bill as a, a, to establish a barrack to every corner of their land. So that they will not be sure any time they want to start. It's very easy for them. So their friends should wake up. They should wake up. We should not allow them. We should not allow them to establish a grazing bee in their land. Instead of talking about the roping, the roping in Nigeria, what they are interested in is grazing bee, grazing bee, grazing bee, every time grazing bee. No development, no job. So please, grab my shoulders. Thank you very much. I'm a dad by condition. I'm not going to continue to do what you are doing. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, our brother from Rome, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, keep the calls coming in. Stay blessed wherever you are. Of course, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis. And my name is Mazi Victor Oyendo, and I have Mazi Oge Friday here with me. And also, uh, our brother Mazi Evis, who have been doing a very great job in educating and enlightening our people, is also standing by 
in case you have any question that you need clarification anything you don't understand anything you are confused about based on the issues we are discussing feel free to call in this time around to uh, point out your area of uh, confusion and uh, we will be glad to uh, put you through and to make you understand the real facts on ground because this is your friend television and we are here to expose the lies of the zoo we are not here to mince any word we are not here to cover the truth or to paint it the way it will suit us no we are saying it raw the way it is so that the world will see and know the truth because uh, it's only the truth that will set us free each and every one of us but it's going to piss us off at the first time but it is the only thing that will set all of us free once again the lines are plus two three four zero nine zero five six six zero eight five eight three for whatsapp then for phone is plus two three four zero seven zero two zero three five three seven zero six for phone line then also you can call us on skype at sunrise btv or on facebook messenger at sunrise btv please keep the calls coming in we have a call on whatsapp call on whatsapp good morning Good morning, Mazu Victor. Good morning. 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 My name is yeah. My name is Chidebe. I'm calling from Paris, France. Okay, please welcome. Uh, Chuko Kikabla, my bless you. I'm blessed and too. guide and guide you and Mazu. Okay. And you too. In the mighty name of Chuko Kikabla, my pray. You see. Uh, Mazu. Oh, you know, my this one is concerning about the grazing deal. Okay. The Nigerian gov the zoo government, the useless government, they are not planning how to create job for their citizens. They are not planning how to do something meaningful, something good for their citizens. What they are planning is putting up a grazing. Fuel for their business. Everybody is suffering in Nigeria. Why that? Why, why can't they concentrate putting that darkest country, putting electricity, making it to be 24 hours constant? What they are applying is cattle colony. God will punish all of them. We don't need any cattle colony in Biafra land. And the any and the any governor, any eastern state governor, from uh, 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 Bayaka to uh, 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 all the eastern state go governors, any of them that accept that grazing deal, we want to bring that grazing that cattle colony in our land. We are going to resist them. We are going to resist them. They are not talking of uh, 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 creating a uh, 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 seaport in Biafra land. You got a seaport. They are not talking about it. Federal government cannot say that. Let, okay, only uh, 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 seaport. Uh, uh, only seaport in Yoruba land, Lagos. There's no seaport in no eastern part of Nigeria. No international airport. When we want to travel, we have to come. Uh, we want to buy our ticket. We have to buy to, uh, a ticket from here to Lagos. If you want to buy from here to here to Port Harcourt, if you are buying 500, 500 uh, 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 for example, 500 uh, uh, euros to Lagos, for you to buy, book, book a flight from here to uh, Port, uh, Port Harcourt, you have to up to 1,500 euros, 1,000 euros from here to Port Harcourt. Why? They're not talking about, they're not talking about it. What I'm telling us is, uh, is Katu Colony. Our, our, our people in Lagos suffer. They are insulting them every day. They are eating shit in Lagos. Because, of, because, because there is no uh, seaport in, in eastern part of Nigeria. No international airport. And they are telling, telling us about the cattle colony. God will punish them. Let them be that cattle colony. They will kill all the fans. Let them come. We are waiting for them. Thank you very much, our brother. We appreciate you for that wonderful submission. Of course. Thank, uh, thank you, uh, 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 Victor. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate you. All right, we we'll have a call on the phone. Call on the phone. Good morning. Please tune down the volume of your listening device. Please tune it way down. I'm saying this over and over again. 
tune it way down you cannot be calling us and be listening to yourself at the same time from your listening device it doesn't work that way hello to tune it down hello hello good morning and welcome to the program good morning good morning tell us your name and where you are coming from okay yeah i'm coming my name is Chidi. i'm calling from zoo my contribution is i uh, greet all of you i greet my own name the color and i greet everybody who is working hand in hand to make sure that buffer is restored yeah my contribution is on this uh, breathing land we should not accept that into the afghan land that thing is a private business man i mean it's a, it's a private business it doesn't concern us so what we need in the afghan land is seaport it's development, not a classroom, not a the college. We should not allow the farmland. Instead of that, let water happen again. We don't care. I mean, we have taken enough of all this rubbish from these idiots. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, we do appreciate you for that one. Please keep the calls coming in, and we accept we will accept uh, more reactions. And if you have any question, please do feel free to call us and uh, make a contribution. Of course, uh, um, Mazi Elvis, on the way, I want to come to you this very time around. Mazi Elvis, are you there? Mazi Elvis, are you there with me? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I will get back to you shortly. All right, Temazi, okay, Friday. Um, yeah. um, based on the reactions of our callers and uh, what has been going on, and uh, you can see how they reacted out of uh, a burning passion. All of them are seemingly very, very, very angry about uh, this very topic. It seems like it's infuriating all the people. Yes. So, what would you make of uh, all these their reactions so far? Uh, look at that vividly. Our uh, people know what they want because we have all been in this together for a very long time. We have suffered it for many years. Many of our people who find themselves in other countries of the world knows how things work there. And if they suffer to get to those areas, they will watch, they will compare and contrast. They, 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 the gap will be so so much that they cannot start comparing the nation they came out from to where they are that is why it seems that everybody is lamenting the marginalization is too much the killing is too much and now they are bringing cattle colony cattle ranching that is not what the people need the people are crying. They are, many people are hungry. If you go to the street of uh, uh, Nigeria, the zoo, there are so many people who are very, very hopeless. You see it on the social media on daily basis. People are being driven out of school because they don't have money to pay. If you go to Ebony State, the salaries of uh, the civil servant are being cut into two. One given to them. There are people who could not pay their house rent anymore. They cannot pay the school, uh, the children's school fees anymore. If you go to Imo State, they have been old for many years. People want to do business. There's no means of doing it. Even if you want to import, no way. If you import, if you reach Lagos, it will hang there. So what people need now is not cattle colony. From all indications, from all Russians, we will see that. back to you, Mazi. Okay, okay. Friday. We do have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Hello, come on, what's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, good morning. Good morning and welcome to the program. Please tell us your name and where you are calling us from. Okay. My name is uh, Obidea Chukuma. Calling you from Oscar. Okay. Please go ahead. My brother, can you thank God for... <laughs> All your efforts. Thank you. Towards the the fight for the restoration of our seven nation of Africa. Uh, I really want to comment just concerning the 
the topic about the plan of the Fulanese to use cattle, calorie, or color water television, to dramatize the issues. Please, I just want to say this. Before we are calling on how to stop them, I think the best way is for us to make this initiative of bicycling, as I have been talking before, make bicycles or declare it in Rogatana as a taboo to eat cattle or, 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 or cattle. I think that is the best way. Let us start from now on anything we can do to buy us eating of cows in the whole Ghana. Because if you are not eating the, uh, the cows, then how can they do it? How can we have a, a, a plan of having a, a place for them? So I think it's the best way. If anything we can do to bring an end of eating cows in their house. God bless you all. I bless you too. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for that wonderful contribution. Of course, the calls coming in. This is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Sema Zee Victor Onido. And we are we have opened our phone line to pick your calls and to also get your reaction and your contribution. Please feel free to call in this time around to make your contribution. All right, uh, um, Maz every sound the way. Can you hear me now? Okay. Please, based on the reaction of um, uh, second to our last caller, what would you make of it? Because he made some passionate statements regarding what is going on, and especially this issue that has to do with uh, grazing reserve deal that is being enforced on the people. What would you make of that? Yeah, um, my brother, I should start from um, um, telling most of the viewers um, to know that nothing is working in the contraption because if you can watch me on the screen you see me uh, kind of uh, wiping away uh, sweat you know um that is to tell you the the, the amount of the insurmountable ill treatment they are giving us you know making life miserable to everyone you know so um if we should go by what is uh, trending right now in our today's news we have so many uh, analysis, we have so many uh, uh, points, but um, the one that is trending right now is this very cattle railing and uh, stuff like that. I believe that um, in, a, in, a, in a country where a, a, a one man, uh, a, a one blind man rules the, the blind people, uh, they, 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 they see the person as their God. So uh, in the zoo, you watch and see that the things that is happening in every place that house of oligarchy has a kind of uh, brought in a full force of their uh, Usman and produce implementation these days full force of it because Usman and Podio worked tirelessly for their people and today they are deriving the dividends then, but Zeke of Africa was busy gallivanting all over the whole world clamoring for one Nigeria. Now, see where it has landed us that all their friends will begin to rail cow. My brother, this cow railing of 18, maybe I should go and lend or borrow one stick and start training myself ahead of the cattle railing because, um, um, I don't know how I will look like where a Romy will be rallying cow. And uh, if you look at it right now, the government of the day are not interested on the issue on ground. Now, dollar, in terms of e economics, dollar has skyrocketed. They don't have any option. During good luck, Jonathan, dollar was 170, one dollar. Now it's 300, barely getting close to 400. They are not interested. Now the money of the Naira has devalued. They are not even interested on how to fix it. Now education has a kind of vanished for them, I mean, they are into existence. Nobody recognizes your education these days. All everyone is talking about is APC, PCP, 
and now the CPC and CIOOP has now into the managed to rig themselves into into um, into the the, the the office and the first thing they are, they, are, they are bringing in is that they are cattle running that is to tell you the, the amount of their reasoning they are raising like moo they are reasoning uh, they are not raising like human being they are raising like cow so like Bible said that iron sharpened iron snake bigger snake dog cannot give birth to a cow and the cow cannot give birth to a human being it will everyone represent its own species so they are representing their knowledge is the, the level of their knowledge and understanding lies on the cattle rearing and the cattle uh, 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 ranching and grazing bill now you will have to ask yourself is this very is, is this very issue constitutional and in, in the zoo that the answer is no now who owns this cow that is an individual what concerns the individual with the government with government that is to tell you that the mu and the animal is in power where a whole cow will enter and swallow millions they pamper the cow and when a man steal a, a cup of gare because of a cup of a bottle of coke because of hunger they, they leech into that so it is for you to know that they don't have anything to offer a country where there is no electricity but that country supplies light to Kotonou, 24 hours light. They supply light to Ghana. They supply light to Niger Republic. They supply light to part of Cameroon, 24 hours. What is it that is holding them that they could not be able to supply light to their own? A country that is good in a kind of defending other nations, sending them home to maintain peace while in their own house, there is a lot of crisis. My brother, <laughs> because the hour to represent your father's house has come if you don't represent it you will lose your father will be sure there will be nothing like reputation and your father's name will no longer be recognized again so be for us has to do the need for this time around because we'll get very good on bubble thank you very much all right thank you very much our brother mazi elvis uh, on the way for that wonderful contribution of course, uh, our people are listening to you, and uh, I believe everything is being taken into cognizance, and uh, they are keeping a record of everything as it is going. Um, also, um, because of our time, uh, we are bringing the program to an end. But before we go, uh, what is going to be your final words of advice, Mars Elvis, to their friends that is listening and watching you all over the world? Yes, my final um, uh, advice today, or uh, parting shot. It simply means Biafra. Open your eyes. Okay, Adeli for your wine. When you go again, Ruzo. What am I saying? It's teaching time since nine. It is time now for you to make haste while the sun still exists, while the sun still shining. If not, see you. I see cow. See you, your levels and everything, even all your mansions. See you and see cow in your bedroom. So for you to avoid the cow coming into your bedroom, you stood up, you have to stand up and reject everything that the house has to uh, implement. And the governors as well. Those governing you, you 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 see the level of their 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 help, that they are not having issues or matters. So it is time for you to help yourself. The little I'm saying, if really, really they actually mean what they said, Oga, go and get a bunch of water bag. Keep it very close to you. Anywhere you see them, all it on the leaves there. When they sniff it, all of them will die. Then no wala bring out your, but they will boom. We start a bad thing. So I just want to say, dear friends, we are people with knowledge, wisdom, smart, and um, we have all it takes to rule the whole world. So remain blessed until we meet again. I say remain Elvis. Despite that people are praying for others they are seeing in the studio and they are not praying for them, but I pray for everybody. <laughs> I pray that you will I not pray see. for you, Mas Elvis. I pray for you in a special, wonderful way. Don't you appreciate that? <laughs> I, I I noticed that well I'm not here is covering you <laughs> for recognition. I'm not pleading for recognitions and uh, because uh, a brother always call uh, once immediately after the brother, we the first person to call and he will about another person will follow. 
But um, it's well. We have to, we are not working for human beings. We are working for uh, resurrection of our nation. <laughs> so and um, I don't want to be think. So let us see again tomorrow. And then right, I thank you very much, Mazevis. All the way. Of course, uh, the rest of the Kabiama is always with you. You don't even need anybody's prayer to stay blessed because you as a dear friend, you are blessed already. Okay, maybe we can take one or two calls. We have a call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Oh, we seem to have lost him. Please try and call back if you can. We just have some few minutes left before we call the program a shot. Please call back if you can. I right, we still have another call on WhatsApp. Call on WhatsApp. Good morning. Uh, my dear, good morning and uh, good morning, uh, other friends and uh, good morning, dear friends. Okay, good my name is uh, Uju Dulu. I'm calling from New Delhi in India. Uh, regarding the one it's a simple. Uh, re regarding the what we are discussing in uh, Biafran television, this is an, a simple issue. Now we said we want an, a referendum. We have been agitating on the street, protesting, writing letters to even the Nigeria government. Our senators know who want reference. So we had been agitating before the co rancher or whatever. First of all, they have to grant our own request. We are human beings. They have to agree uh, they have to grant our own request to so our people in the our elders, even the IPOB leaders, even the IPOB elders, our women, they have to speak because we want a referendum. It is when we conduct our referendum, if we fail, before we can be able to talk ab about Nigeria. And we are saying we don't understand the Nigeria. We want a referendum. So if we conduct an our referendum and win, we go our way. Now it's not a time of a capital colony or whatever. What we are asking is referendum. Our senators have a right governors. What we are saying it's a referendum, and uh, if it, if your brother is a snake or whatever, go under uh, uh, this thing or ask her to send us. It is an uh, poster boys uh, doing this uh, cultural business. We are the Yafra youth. So we are human beings. We are asking for a referendum before the cattle ranch or cattle or cattle whatever. What we mean is we need a referendum. The full meeting, what we are, what our people will be saying, what we are asking for a referendum, not anything else for now. We want to know our level in Nigeria. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, our brother, for that wonderful contribution. Of course, we do appreciate you for that very one. Um, this is Sonrel Delini's analysis. I think we can take just one last call for we'll call it a shot. Who is going to be the last caller for today? All right, um, okay, Friday. Um, you've, you've seen all the reactions and all the submissions so far. Um, what would you make of it? Yes, um, our people are very much aware of what is happening. And uh, they know what they want. The truth is that we are all tired of the contraption called Nigeria and what they are doing to us. So what we need to do now is to join hands together and fight this battle once and for all with IPOB wherever you are all over the world especially those in Biafra land it should be very clear to you that what is to come is very big and there are tools needed to fight and win this battle it is true there's not everything or it's not everything that will come up on air and tell you the only way you can get saved is just to join the nearest IPOB family where you are. You've seen it that the people you call your leaders, they don't seem to care. All they care for is for their personal aggrandizement and their pockets. So you should be very much careful. For those of you who are playing daily God, like Rucha Sokorocha, he tried it and he failed. Now Nemesis has caught up with him. For those of you who are in Abuja, in the state houses of assembly you think we don't know what you are doing you think the people do not know what you are doing one day it will be your own turn 
now the Chasso culture is calling for protest. There's only cowards that will join that protest. Of course, I know it is, it's going to fail woefully. So be wise as a serpent for them bringing this cattle colony and ranching. Don't feel they are doing good to you. If that be the case, if they want a place where they will invest their money, if they, they want a place where they will develop as to employ people, we have Ankalago Cement Factory locked down. Let them go and invest there. We have Prada in Enugu. It's not working well. Check all the Biafra land and states. Which company are working well? They are attacking Ibeto. They only want Dangote to exist. If you allow all these people to operate very well, if you put money into these companies, do you know how many thousands of people that is going to employ? But bringing cattle, colony, and ranching, how many of our people are going to be employed? I know so many of our even of them one million naira every month. They are not even going to accept a job in that company. So what I'm saying in conclusion is that you should rise up and join IPOB in the struggle to restore Biafra. It's quite going to bless each and every one of you, wherever you are. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Mazege Friday, and that is the all you can take for now. And all lovers of freedom, friends and well wishers of Biafra, this is Sunrise Daily News Analysis, and my name is Maz Victor Oyendo, and I have Maz Yoge Friday with me, and also Maz Evi Sangudiwe, who has just signed out. Uh, together, we are all saying the same thing. Find IPOB family that is very closer to you and join, so that together we can speak with one voice and restore Biafra. Um, join us in time to the station tomorrow as we bring you other wonderful editions. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned and keep watching Different Television House. We bring you other interesting program and also make sure you keep listening to Radio Biafra London because other program too will be coming your way. Bye for now. Bye.